Hey everybody, this is Chris Kelly from United. Uh, today we're going to go over the process of using skates. Beautiful Bobby Hawk Hall here, and today we're talking about skating. Judy flips, heel flips, 360 turns, grinding the edge, coming in. Oh, you lost your mind, bro Hawk, whatever your name is. Those are the wrong skates, and that's not even a skateboard. That's a scooter. These are the skates we're talking about. We're going to use these skates, Wreckmaster skates, whenever we're pulling a car out of a driveway or out of a spot on the opposite side of the drive line. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna start with is preparation. The key to any successful process is always preparation. We wanna make sure that we have, son, I will break you. All right, guys, Josh Kale is from our Memphis office. He's gonna help us in this skate process. First thing he's gonna do here is he's gonna store his skates up on his deck, get prepared for the recovery, because it's always, as we said before, important to prepare. You'll notice he has a mallet and his two skates. He's gonna use that mallet to tap that skate underneath the front tire. Gnarly. One thing I wanted to show you was uh, how these can interlock each other so you can use them for wider tires. Uh, you'll notice that you have some ridges here on the side of each skate and then some inner devices here. And all you're gonna do is put your skates together this way, pound down on them, and now you got a wider Snap skate. those in. Nice. I got a problem to take care of if you'll just be with me for one second. Hey, hey, no. Next, he's going to back up to the vehicle, lift it in the air. And he's going to go up a little bit high here so that he can get that skate completely underneath that front tire. And then he's going to come down and sink that, that lift a little bit so that the slide becomes easier. Now he'll grab the skate. He's gonna go ahead and tap it underneath the front tire. He's gonna give it three taps here. I saw one with his foot, two with his mallet, and he does the same thing on the other side. Uh, this is an important process here because we wanna make sure that we're strapping the car. The skates are not gonna let you pull the car just with the, the carriage. You're gonna to have to strap the vehicle or it's gonna come right out of the tow carriage. So he's gonna secure his strap, lower his lift now, and now slide his vehicle out slowly and quietly. You'll notice that skate will start to bounce as he does this, that, that tire sitting on that skate. Hey, bro, listen, with these skates, the deal is you want to break that transmission and you want to leave your mark everywhere on that pavement. Oh, uh, get on out of here. He has no idea what he's talking about. He's really going to get hurt now. The object of the skate is to keep the damage minimal on transmissions and marks on the ground. Uh, it's also going to help the recovery process as far as keeping it quieter. Now Josh is going to go ahead and take his skates out from underneath the front tire. And you'll notice he lifted it up a little bit higher to help him with that process. Once skates will sometimes catch the weight of the tire there, just pull them back and forth and you'll be able to get those right out from underneath. He's going to go ahead and store his skate and his mallet on secure strap and then he's going to move to the front of the vehicle. We'll lift the vehicle, restrap. We're going to strap the vehicle down again, like I said, secure the strap, same thing on the other side, light it up, and we're going to complete the recovery. Okay, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with us today. In conclusion, let's use those skates out there. It's gonna save us a lot of damage claim issues and it's gonna keep things quieter on the recovery, which means a safer environment for you. Stay safe out there and we'll see you next time.